Hello everybody, this is PD at Burger Arcade at BurgerArcade.com and this is tutorial 267. Now this one here is probably not going to be for everyone. It's uh, basically the fix for the Fro Games uh, model pack the, for their commoners and moyers. Uh, so if you're not using this, uh, by all means, go ahead and watch it and you know you might learn something from it. But mostly it's for the people that have bought that package and uh, they want a fix for the, well, the way he bends. Let me demonstrate here. Uh, right now we'll take a look at uh, our character when we start running when we stop his legs up in the air and his arms you know not at his side if you hit jump you know he, he returns back to the normal position uh, the reason is because we don't have curves for the arms and the legs in the idle animation uh, so basically it it has unity has trouble trying to uh, get back to the idle state now I've been leaving this here alone because it's, I'm not even sure if these are the assets I want to use. You know, more than likely they are, but I didn't want to go ahead and spend a bunch of time playing around, fixing all the animations, getting them the way I want, just to um, find out in the end that I'm not even going to use them. Uh, but anyway, someone has pointed me to a post where Kristoff uh, from Pro Games has actually uh, said that he updated the package and these animations are fixed. Uh, which is great. You can go ahead and just download that. Um, we did move some things around in our project, though. Uh, so it's not like you can just drag the folder in. So I wanted to go over how to uh, put that package back in. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll stop this. I'm actually just going to go ahead and close the, the whole thing down uh, because I am going to want to open up a, a new scene. So to start off with, let's just go to Fro Games. Uh, go download uh, the latest update. Well, I shouldn't say the latest update. You go to your, my account and you can download it again. Uh, I'm not sure about the asset store. I assume it's updated in the asset store as well. Now, this update came about a year ago. I just haven't downloaded a new copy well, in over a year. So if you've got the latest version, chances are you're not having these problems. But if you do have an older copy, uh, by all means, just keep watching and we'll fix it. So after you're done downloading it, let me go ahead and open up that window. Uh, you're going to have this here after you unzip it. And if you go in, you'll notice that there's uh, two Unity packages, uh, one for the old and one for the new. Uh, basically, the new is the new scene. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what the difference is. I know there's a new scene in there, uh, but I've tried it with the old one and it did work. So basically, create a new Unity project. Uh, so what we're going to do here is actually just come over, right click, import package. We're going to want to go to a custom package. Now go to the path where you have it downloaded and we'll go in commoners and warriors unity and like i said there was two different packages let me stretch this out i'm gonna go with the old one i'm sure it probably works with the new one too i just i haven't tried it and we're gonna get the import package dialog uh just select all import and I'm actually going to keep them over here because I actually do need some characters for uh, the scene over here. As you can see, I've just been using the proto pack for this is for a different project I was working on. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's going to import this. It's going to take a little while. So let's go ahead and uh, pause the video and I'll come back when this is done importing. All right, now that I have it done uh, importing, what I want to do is actually come over, open this up, and we're going to look at the characters here. We have the fat character. Uh, we're going to want to take note of its idle one animation. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the two-handed idle. Uh, need coffee. Here we go, the idle one. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag this onto the desktop. So let me just close this because I don't need this anymore. And I'm also going to grab the muscular one. So I'll go ahead, I'll shrink this down. Here's the muscular one. We want idle one as well, which apparently is open. Once you drag these out onto your desktop, all we have to do is replace the old ones in our, in our current uh, game. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and close this game down and open up our other ones, just to show you how you can find where that is. So we'll close this down. All right, here we are back in our tutorial project, and here's where we have all of our assets and everything else stored. Uh, so I want to actually find in the folder structure basically where these files are located in the hierarchy. Uh, so if we come over and look at our project window here, 
all of these assets are actually stored in, well, a folder called assets. So open up your project folder, go ahead and open up assets. I'm just gonna quickly move this out of the way. Now I know for me, I've got mine stored in art assets. I'm gonna just shrink this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll go into art assets. And after that, we wanna to go to the Fro Games one. I'm just shrink some of these down uh, right there. So I'll do the exact same thing over here. We'll go into the Fro Games, uh, the CS Warriors and Commoners. Uh, we'll open that up. Next, I want to go into the character. And we have the Fat, Muscular, and Ragdolls. And, well, here we go. <laughs> uh, the Fat, Muscular, and Ragdoll. And if we open these up, uh, I'll just do the Muscular one for now. Fat's exactly the same. So let me spread this out a bit. If we open up the Muscular one, uh, we're going to get Animations. I believe that's a folder I've actually added. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me just actually take a look over here. Let's open up the muscular. Uh, sorry, this is actually my folder structure. Uh, but anyway, I believe the animations is something I added. Uh, this was when I was setting up getting ready to uh, start editing the animations, but I don't have to now. But anyway, if we actually open this up, let me shrink this one here down because we don't need it anymore. Uh, if we go ahead and we start ducking down, we'll just actually see that there, the animation that we want to change is in here. Uh, muscular character, idle one, right there. So let's go ahead and just take it, drag it, drop it in. And for some reason, it did not ask me to overwrite. So I'm thinking it might have actually been a different name. Uh, let me just check here. Well, the easiest way probably to check this is actually just open up our project and make sure it's working. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and open up my project again. Uh, we'll shrink this down. I want to go down to the player prefab and make sure that I still have my idle animation connected. Uh, so we have that under resources, character, model, human, male, and I did the muscular. Uh, I'm not sure how you're building your structure if you're following along. Uh, exactly the way I'm doing it. This will be the path for you and I'll come down and it's idle one and I'm just going to click on it and I want to make sure that it's tied to this animation here for the muscular character idle one which is well we've already gone through the path how to get here and if it's pointing somewhere else come to this path just take it click it drag it on and of course, you'll want to do this for every model that you have. So basically, if you have the fat one as well, uh, make sure you do that. And of course, if you've gone ahead and created any other ones from it, uh, maybe you made, I don't know, some other model, but you started off with one of their models as a base. I want to update those too. So anyway, let's just go ahead and test it, see if it's working now. So here's my character. I'm going to start running. And when I let go, uh, voila, he's back into idle. And what about if I walk? And we'll let go, and he's back into idle. Great. Um, well, there we go. Everything's working fine. And uh, it's a very quick tutorial, but it's one of the things I think that's annoyed a lot of people that uh, have an older version of the package. Just basically go down and, uh, well, go over and download the new version and follow these easy steps to installing new updates. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh, oh, oh. I lost my sword. Oh, it's my over here. It's on the ground. I'm gonna get it because I lost mine. Oh, mine just died. Yeah, I'm mine running. Mine died too. That's why I.